being ignored isn't pleasant for most people. As you will often know, if you've dealt with a narcissistic person, as and when it suits them, they will ignore you. You can be having a conversation with a group of people and the narcissistic individual will purposefully ignore anything and everything you say. So you are made to feel like you are invisible, like your point isn't worthy, questioning your thoughts, your feelings and your opinions as a narcissistic individual will go all out to ignore you, to hurt you, to punish you and to control you. So being ignored isn't the most pleasant of situations and the majority of people go into self-doubt and question themselves and wonder what they could do to improve as a person. A narcissistic individual can also go into that self-doubt, but they wonder what everybody else needs to do to improve to make the narcissist feel better. When you ignore a narcissistic individual, they really don't take too kindly to this due to their sense of entitlement and their requirements for that excessive attention, seeking that validation from those around them. So when people ignore the narcissist, it wounds their fragile ego and they have to try and patch this up any way they can and they usually patch it up at the cost to those around them. So when people ignore a narcissist, they can become enraged. They can lash out verbally and physically to regain attention, to regain control over the situation. Now, with a narcissistic individual, they can go all out to ignore you, whereby they're going to cause that anger and that resentment and that frustration within you because you can't ever get your point of view across with them to the point where you might potentially lash out towards the narcissistic individual. However, you will notice in this situation, once you've lashed out at a narcissist, a narcissist has got what they wanted. So they suddenly act all calm and smug and accuse you of going crazy, ask you what's wrong, ask you if you're having a bad day. They have that patronising attitude towards you where it shows it displays that they like the empathy to care about you they just feel smug so just as anyone can act with anger when they are being ignored with a narcissistic individual they are reacting with that anger in order to get the attention back onto themselves not to vent their frustration. They might go all out to ramp up their attempts in order to gain the attention from those around them if they're not getting the attention elsewhere. So they might go all out to flirt with somebody in front of you to make you feel bad, to make you feel like you're not worthy to make you work harder to gain the narcissist's attention. Narcissistic people need a network of players in their games. They need someone they're love bombing that's going to support them and give them the attention. They need someone that they're devaluing so that they can feel superior and better than others. They need someone that they can scapegoat so that they can pin all the blame for their mistakes and their wrongdoings on the scapegoat. They need somebody that they're discarding because they can again pin all the blame on the person that they are discarding and make the person that they're discarding feel like they're not worth anything. They need somebody that they're smearing again like the scapegoat so that they can take all the blame and so that the narcissist can protect their image. They need someone that they're hoovering back into their games, often to hurt the person who that they were love bombing, who they believe is not giving them the attention so that they can punish the person they're love bombing by returning to somebody else. So a narcissistic person will wrap up their attempts to gain that attention by simply making the scapegoat the person that they are love bombing in front of the person they were love bombing that they're now turning into the scapegoat they're now devaluing and discarding 
They can go through many manipulative attempts in order to regain the attention. They can feign illnesses within themselves or with somebody close. They're going to go all out to regain that attention, to regain that control. They can go all out with the guilt trips and the pity plays when they fear they're being ignored. They might use emotional manipulation such as creating that feeling of obligation with you, within you, that feeling of indebtedness within you. Try to go all out to make you feel like you're being the mean one, the unreasonable one. They're going to go all out to make you feel bad so that they can regain the attention back onto themselves. They can go all out to demean who you are as a person and dismiss you and belittle you and devalue you in an attempt to regain their sense of superiority, their belief that they are special. They're going to rewrite it that you are the one that's the issue, that they're the one that's ignoring you because you're not worth their time. And go even deeper into their self-centred and self-absorbed behaviours because they're trying to cut themselves off from the situation that they found themselves in. Narcissistic individuals are very self-absorbed and self-centred as it is. They will go all out though to love bomb somebody new, to impress that stranger or to hoover somebody old while negatively talking about the person who's ignoring them, claiming that they're not grateful, that they're bitter, that they're envious of the narcissist so that the narcissist can get the validation from the new source of supply or the old source of supply that they're now hoovering that the narcissist is credible and is worthy of that attention and it's the other person that's at fault it's the other person that can't see how amazing the narcissist is it's the other person that's awkward and stubborn and selfish and doesn't care so they're going to scapegoat the person who is now ignoring them they might come on strong with that passive aggressive behavior where they'll just say those sarcastic remarks to try and gain that reaction from you when they're ramping up their attempts to get that reaction from you they're going to demean you and belittle you and have those subtle sly digs to gain any form of reaction from you. Narcissistic individuals do prefer the positive attention. However, if they can't get that positive attention, they'll go all out to get that negative attention in a manner where they can blame you for being the problem. They can start stonewalling you. They can fall silent on you. They can do all they can to try and punish you, to try and get you to be the one who opens up communication with them. They can act like nothing has happened and talk to you like they've never done anything wrong because they often believe they've never done anything wrong and that you should be grateful that they're willing to forgive and talk to you because you're ignoring them because you no longer want to play their games. They will go all out to seek that attention elsewhere. Narcissistic people don't like being alone unless they're gaining attention from somewhere or something. And when it comes to a narcissistic individual, our best protection against them is to ignore them, to ignore their games, to respect who they are as a person, how toxic they can be and leave them to it because we cannot make them see what they do not want to hear. We can only listen to our instincts, recognise their behaviour and choose to walk away. However, with a narcissist, they might go all out to disengage from you, which can feel bittersweet. However, the irony of it is they do leave you alone and you can heal and recover and move on with your life. A narcissist will disengage and seek out new supply to try and punish you to try and regain control over the situation they will be playing the victim with all those who will listen that you are the problem in the entire situation also they can save face and protect their fragile ego 
if anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support and understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon, 15 Rules to Deal with Narcissistic People if you cannot go no contact, a narcissist handbook which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse and how to create psychological, emotional and physical boundaries around those who have zero respect for your boundaries. I shall add the links to those in the description also if you'd like to go and check them out. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an, an amazing day. Bye.